exchange student in Fiberland. My name is Mary Gale and I am your host. Today is August 10th, 2012 and this is episode 25. Yay! Um, I just realized that I forgot to close the bedroom door and so my husband probably can hear whatever I'm saying. So I'm going to go close the door because it makes me nervous. So hold on one second. Well, you don't have to hold on because by the time you're done, I'll be back. But all right. After all that, I had actually closed the door, so I'm a big doof. Um, I told you last week, I'm so sorry, the lighting is still bad, but I'm upstairs at least, so I'm moving back to my own spot. Um, eventually, I'll get everything together. But um, I had told you last week that I'm going to try to podcast every Friday, and so here I am, even though I don't have very much to show you. So it should be a short episode. Um, if you hear, if I don't get all the way through it and you hear my alarm, I put my alarm on because it's almost time to go pick up the kids from school and I don't want to forget them. <laughs> so, um, let's get right to it. Uh, the first, um, excuse me. First off is lessons and learning or my works in progress. And they're going to look very familiar to you. I am still working on the same project as last week. I don't have any finished objects and I haven't actually done too much on this one. This is the run one row lace scarf by Turbid. And it is in my Liberace base um, this is called, oh, hello, this, this is called, um, The T-Birds. It's from the Grease series, and it's looking really nice and lacy and beautiful. It's really easy, super nice to, uh, memorize. Uh, this is Sophie, Sophie Anna. She hardly ever comes out. She likes me and me alone, so... Uh, she doesn't come out when the kids are around. And <laughs> she comes out for Josh when, um, sorry about the shaking. She comes out for Josh when he's eating cereal. That's it. <laughs> Alright. The next one I want to show you is, the Spring Bud Fingerless Mitts. This is by Robin Courier, and I'm doing two at a time. I have, I think, like three more rows of increases. Is this backwards? This is backwards. Oop. Hold on. Three more rows of the increases for the uh, thumb gusset, and then, then it says to make it as long as you want, so... I don't think that the pattern shows up very well with the yarn, but I think that the pattern shows the yarn off very, very well, very nicely, beautiful, nice, pretty. <laughs> um, so I think that it looks really good. I really like the way that it's coming out. It's just that you can't tell that there are, um, like buds and lace. You can't tell what the pattern is, but I think that it looks good still. This is also in the yarn that I had dyed. Um, I didn't give it a colorway name. So, that's it. I haven't had time to um, work on very much. Uh, you want to know, <laughs> this is totally off. Um, well, I was going to do this at the end, but oh, let me tell you why I haven't been um, working very much. I spend all of my time, well, I'm working on my shop, but also I feel like I am brushing the dogs 24-7. It's, they're shedding all over the place, and um, especially Kida, who's our German Shepherd, and Scully, who's, um, 
She's like a border collie, German Shepherd, Chow. She doesn't know what, what she is. We don't know what she is, but she's hairy. Um, and so I wanted to show you this. I have the um, Furminator, which is a really good buy. They had it's. Um, I got it off of Amazon, so it's a lot cheaper off Amazon than if you buy it at like PetSmart or whatever. But these little um, blades, like they're they're kind of sharp. I mean, I'm not like hurting myself or anything, uh, but it pulls it like clips off the undercoat, um, and it doesn't hurt them at all. They actually Scully doesn't love it, but um, Kita likes the attention, so. It works but I wanted to show you this is Kita after two brushing and this is Scully right here after two brushings it's a whole Clover bag and then this is actually a third brushing full of Scully as well Actually, I think this has a little bit of both. This does. This is a mixture. So, it works. It just takes a while. I think that if, once you get a lot of their hair off, <laughs> then it would help a lot. That was awful. The noise from the bag, I didn't even warn you that it was going to happen. And then, it wasn't even to show you pretty yarn. It was to show you dog hair. But, <laughs> um, I just thought that was interesting how much hair comes off because there's still tons of hair on them um but i do recommend getting the furminator by the way i i don't know why i inserted this now um but hey it's my podcast and i'll do what i want um and now i covered up my show notes here we go okay the um next thing that i wanted to talk about um this is exchange student in fiberland so when I first started, all I talked about was knitting, and then I got a little bit of spinning in there, and now I've been in a sewing kick, so I'm going to also talk about sewing. Um, so it's still a work in progress that I'm going to be talking about, but the things that I've been sewing are for my shop, Spartacus Dyes, on Etsy, and um, so I wanted to give it a different title, and I was trying to think of what, what would I talk about if I'm going to talk about what's in my shop. And sticking with the exchange student theme, when you're a student, you're a little kid and you try to make money, you have a lemonade stand. So this is going to be the lemonade stand um, section. And this is these are project bags that I've been sewing and um, they're not finished. I don't have the insides to show you what they coordinate with but this is the first one and this is called Tootsie Pop because the owls from the old Tootsie Pop commercial Tootsie Roll Pop commercial uh, and I have a coordinating it's not a matching yarn it doesn't match the bag but it's coordinating theme in the shop right now and then I hope to get this up by Monday um, I could probably get it finished today, but Josh is the one that does all the pictures, and he's got um, something to do tonight, and then he works all weekend, so it probably won't be until Monday. But this is Tootsie Pop, and I have a lot of this material, so if you really like it, let me know, and I can make more. And then this is Star Wars, the Marvel comic Star Wars bag. And it's going to make, makes like, the only type of bags that I have for sale right now are like the one that I showed you last week where you um, can put it over your wrist and knit with it. Um, but all of these bags are a little bit taller than the one I just showed you. And then I have another Star Wars one. This is the um, Millennium Falcon. And then a little miniature one. This is not even sewn together to make the bag part. But if you go to the shop site, you'll see that I have um, a different theme. It's the cereal, kid cereal theme. And this is Lucky Charms. And this bag's going to be actually a little bit smaller. 
And I want to show you my mess up. <laughs> when you make these bags, you make like a little, um, like a little house. There's floor panels that look like this. And so you fold it in half and you can just cut up the side. So here's my Hello Kitty bags that I was going to make. It was going to be so cute because it was going to have the little kitty faces on the inside and outside. How adorable, right? Mm. <sighs> Look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I cut down the wrong edge. Um, I'm sure I will figure out something and I will make something with this, but it was already going to be smaller than normal. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. But here's Hello Kitty. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to talk about. I, um went through that really fast and I even went off topic a lot. Um, oh, I do I do have something else to talk about. Don't forget that we have um, the wonderful, fantastic giveaway from Susan Pandorf. Uh, she's giving away an, a mini ebook and all you need to do is go, go down to the show notes from last week or go to the video from last week because I'm not going to talk about the details. Um, but you do need to go to the Ravelry page, and it, the group exchange student in Fiberland, there's a um, thing that says contest thread. And just go to that and sign up. You can, um, I'm, I just said I wasn't going to go over the details, so I'm not going to go over the details. You can't talk me into it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste your time. Go back and do it. If you already watched it, you already know. So, um, but that giveaway ends next Thursday. And I do, whoo, I'm so excited. I have a very fantastic giveaway for uh, next time too, which I'm not going to tell you about. But I will um, hint that um, Ponky, another crafty girl, um, has a giveaway for you all. And that will be um, talked about next Friday. Um, the only other thing I want to do is under journal entries, which I already talked a little bit about our dogs, but I wanted you to meet our dogs. You met Sophie. Uh, last week you met Haku down in the basement a little bit. He was pulling on me. Was that last week, two weeks ago? I don't, I don't remember, but I know you've seen the puppy. Um, now I want to talk about Skyla. Come here, Skyla. Come. She's our, um... Well, they said that she's a Rhodigian Ridgeback. I don't know how to say that or spell it or anything, but she looks like a chocolate lab. Skyla came to us. She used to live at the neighbor's house, and he was not able to take good... Oh, almost time to go get the kids. She was not able to... Or he was not able to take good care of her because he was working all the time, and um, she kept escaping from the house. And so then, uh, eventually, we were like, do you need us to help take care of her? And he, he said yes, but wasn't sure. And um, one night, I was, this was three or four years ago, I was um, decorating the Christmas tree, and he just knocked on the front door. And here she is. Here's my Skyla, Skyla May. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. She loves attention and I can't find the camera. Here, maybe I'll get her up on my lap. Come here, Come on. Yeah. She loves attention. She's my sweet baby. Oh, and then Kita heard me. Nikita Louise. This is Skyla May. And then Nikita Louise. Okay. We're done. Go on. I have to hurry because I don't want to miss the kids. Okay, come here, Nikita. Oh, come here, Kita. Come over this way. This is our German Shepherd, who I think I talked about. Come here. Come on. She's like, are you crazy? Oh. <laughs> I think I talked about how we got her. <laughs> um, she, we were going to get a new dog because we were afraid of Scully passing away because she's getting old. And, um. So we looked and got 
into getting Kida. She was advertised in the paper as this man needing to get rid of her. And then he said, well, I'll bring her next week. And it didn't sound like she was going to be able to come. But she did. Um, and she came at the same time as the puppy. So this is Nikita Louise. We call her Kida. Okay, I have to go get the kids. And um, so thanks for watching this um, discombobulated yet cool up in my own living room podcast. Um, I hope the air conditioner is not too loud for you. And um, if you would like to look at the show notes, they are on um, exchange student in Fiberland at dot blogspot dot com and I have a Ravelry group, Exchange Student in Fiberland. You can find this on iTunes under Mary Gale, M-A-R-I-G-A-Y-L-E. Thank you for watching. See you later.